in this video. Let's play with line segment by sector in Xcode. But first, let's do it on paper. But I have to do it on the whiteboard. So I borrow the whiteboard from Khan Academy webpage. My favorite whiteboard. So let's find one with big empty space here. So how do we bisect a line segment like this? Mm -mm. Wow, this is not good. Let's do it again, a line segment. Bisecting means we are trying to find the middle point of this guy here. How can we find the middle point? Okay, using straight edge and uh, compass. Okay, pause the re video and uh, give a try on the paper. Use your favorite compass and uh, straight edge. Okay, now I assume you already have a go on that. Now let's go back, roll back this. So what I will do is I'll put my compass, the needle of one of the legs here, here, and draw an arc like that. And uh, keep going at another arc here. And then I'll, do, I'll move my needle to this point and draw similarly using the same radius, draw that arc and here. Now, here is our answer, solution line, right? So the, this will be a perpendicular bisector. So this is the, our middle point we are trying to find. Yeah, now we'll switch to Xcode to migrate this solution using our program. Xcode, Xcode, yes. We'll create a new Xcode project. Single view app, yes, let's focus on this. This one will be line segment by by sector. So yeah, language swift user interface storyboard include unit. Yeah, we are not using this one, but it's okay to leave it checked. We are yeah, we will put our project file under developer folder. This folder I created yeah beforehand. This is not uh, provided by the system by default. This is my own folder developer. I created it. Great. And let's use our favorite iPad simulator. We can minimize this one and put our Xcode window here and the command R to run it to make sure everything works as expected. It should be an empty project. Yes. Now let's go to main storyboard. We'll change the template to our iPad 9.7 inch one. Click here to hide that. Oh, we don't want to waste the space here. Okay, 
use two fingers to make this smaller. Now click this button to add a view here. Where is our view? <laughs> yeah, here. Drag and drop and put it here. Okay, let's change its background color so it's easy to see. And this time let's use a light gray. What about this one? Yes, very light gray. Make it bigger, bigger. Okay, I think it's good enough. Let's test. Run it. We should be able to see the rectangle uh, gray view. Okay, now let's create a file to represent our canvas view. Okay, so right click here, new file, Coco Touch class, yes. And make sure we are subclass of UI view. So this one will be bisector view. Okay. Next. Accept the default. So create the file. We'll write our code here inside this one. So we need to uncomment this method, draw method. Okay. Here is where we put our drawing code. But before we can show anything, we need to set this gray view to be our view. So click this, the fourth icon here, class, drop down here, bisect the view, select that, and uh, OK. It's all good. Now we can go back to bisector view. Let's draw our uh, problem line segment. Okay, let enter so line segment. Okay, let's use that. UI bezier pass B E. Yeah, this one empty parentheses. So we create an object of UI bezier pass. Now we can use that object to draw line. So the starting point, yes, opening parentheses, then select the first one, x, y, okay, let's put it here near the middle of our rectangle, gray view. So here is roughly, I guess, 200 and uh, 300, okay. So 200 and uh, 300. Now, add line to the endpoint. So opening parentheses, let's use a CG float as the data type. So, so the endpoint will be here. Uh, I use 400 and uh, of course, why is it 300? It has to be 300 to make this one horizontal. Now we can just line segment dot stroke. So we should be able to see the line. Yeah, uh, it's kind of short and uh, let's make it longer by 100, okay. So easy, we just change this. We add 100 to the end, the X of endpoint. And uh, let's use, make it thicker. So we can change its line width to, for example, three, run it. Yes, cool. Um, yeah, let's add two little bar at two ends okay so it looks like it looks more like a line segment in mathematical sense okay so how to do that 
we'll make a copy of that so x yes y we can use this one minus 10 and we keep this one 200x so it will be a vertical bar of course from 300 minus 10 to 300 plus 10 let's give it a try pretty good yeah now let's make a copy of that again this time only need to change the x right to put it in the ending location okay run it so we check the result in after each step so cool now next we'll draw like two arcs right here and that to find out the two intersections so we can connect that okay let's do it now we'll create another UI Bazaar Pass object for the circle that um, circle maybe arc one right arc one equals UI Bazaar Path B E so this time we'll use the this constructor because uh, it's easy to draw so here is the arc center same thing where is the center oh yeah it's this point this is the arc center so it will be 200 and 300 yes 300 and 300 radius uh it can be arbitrary but better to be greater than half of the distance otherwise the two circles will not meet each other so let's use this uh, let's use 200 yes let's give it a try it's not a bad idea start angle oh okay so this is our center so zero is 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 to the east so we we are start from yeah we can start from here so it's negative uh half pi so it's negative zero point pi cg flow the dot pi cg flow we don't need to this is this is just a 3.14 blah 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 pi okay and the point okay so we'll start from here oh let's draw half circle okay so to half pi end point half pi so 0 0.5 times cg float cg float dot pi dot pi yes clockwise yes clockwise true so right we'll start from here going clockwise down to here let's see so arc one dot stroke command r to run it yes um, but let's use a different color for our supporting lines uh, what about i don't know color literal dot set stroke yes let's pick up double click this one let's pick up uh, what about this one uh, I like this color okay let's see not bad right okay now let's draw the other half of the arc two okay other two so we can have the intersections we need um, we can okay we don't need this empty line here and we can make a copy of that and change the name to arc 2 don't forget this and um, yeah the center point will be here this time so x is 500 x is 500 
and this time we'll draw an arc from here uh, from here to here clockwise 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 so here is two no half pi here is one pi and one and a half pi yeah so we'll go from half pi to one point half pi one pi and a half yeah let's see cool now we can draw the answer line um yes let's create another one let answer a n s w e answer equal to ui bazier pass we can create another one if we like so let's use strong color the red one for our answer point set stroke uh, yes the fresh red okay and the uh, answer dot line width equal to three and answer dot stroke but we haven't draw it uh, yet answer dot move to a point yeah use this one well we can start from here right and go down to somewhere like here and uh, what's the middle point of that so 200 500 so here will be 350 hopefully my math is good enough this one this can be arbitrary one so let's start from 50 and uh, answer dot add line to the end point x yes of course we'll keep the x same so it will be a vertical line this one what about 600 okay let's see run gorgeous so now we can compare this with our hand drawing on the whiteboard let's see um it's here Ta -da! that's it for the day see you next time